Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss what is priority matrix and how it is configured in ServiceNow. On the screen right now, you can see the incident record is opened and there is a priority field available and the priority field is read only. The value of the priority field depends upon the value of impact field and the urgency field. If we change the value of impact and urgency fields, then the priority value will change. So let's change the value of impact and urgency. So we are going to set the impact field to second medium and you will see the priority field changes. And if we also change the urgency field value, set it to third low, you see that the priority field value changes again. The question is how this is happening, how the value of priority is changing. Is there any business rule or any code written? There is no code written for this. This follow a particular priority matrix. So how the priority matrix looks? It looks like this. Now you can see on the screen this is the priority matrix which the priority field follows and the value is set accordingly. How we can read this particular priority matrix is that you can see that there is impact 1, impact 2, impact 3. The actual display value for these values are impact 1 equals to 1 high, impact 2 is equals to second medium, impact 3 equals to third low. And for urgency 1, urgency 2, urgency 3, the same values are available 1 high, second medium, third low. For priority 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, we have the display values like 1 critical, 2nd high, 3rd moderate, 4 low and 5 planning. Means the display value means whatever the value you will see for these fields in the service node. And this is the matrix, priority matrix. How we can read is that if the value of impact is 1 and the urgency is 1, then the priority will be 1 critical. So what is impact 1? Impact 1 is 1 high. And what is urgency 1? Urgency 1 is 1 high and then priority 1 will be 1 critical. If the impact is 1 and the urgency is 2, then the priority will be second high. If the impact is 1, urgency is 3, then the priority will be third moderate. Okay, so that's how the priority field follow this particular matrix. If you want to see the example of it, so we are going to what we are going to do is that we are going to set the impact to 1 and urgency to 3 then the priority value must set to 3 moderate. So let's go back to the personal developer instance. Now we are going to set the impact field value to 1 high which is already set and urgency field value to 3 low and you will see the priority field value changes to 3 moderate which is according to the matrix impact 1 and urgency 3 will be priority 3 moderate. Now let's take one more example like impact 3 and urgency 2nd then the priority value will be 4 low. So we are going to go back to our personal developer instance impact will be 3 low and urgency will be 2 medium and the priority will be 4 low which is same as this particular matrix. Impact 3 is the 3 low, urgency 2 is the 2 medium and the priority value will be 4 low which we can see here. Now the questions comes how this is configured in service now. How this particular priority matrix is configured or developed in service now. For this, there is priority lookup rules. So if we click on all navigation menu and in the filter navigator type priority lookup rules, you can see under system policy application under the rules priority lookup rules. If we click on it, We can see the priority data lookups and here 
the particular priority matrix is being defined. If the impact value is one high and the urgency is one high, then the priority will be one critical. If the impact value is one high and the urgency is two medium, then the priority will be two high. Similarly, for other values of impact and urgency, the priority is being getting set on the incident form, which is using this particular priority data lookups. Okay, so that's how the priority matrix is being configured in ServiceNow. Now imagine that you get a requirement to customize the value of the priority field. So how you can customize the value of the priority field is that one of the first option is that you can go to the priority data lookups and configure the priority field according to your requirement. Okay, you can create the new or change the existing ones. Or what else you can do is that right now you can see on the screen that the priority field is read only. So you have to make it editable to make your own business logic. How you can do is that there is a UI policy which runs which is making the priority field read only. If we click on additional actions and if we go to the configure then to the UI policies. If we scroll down, you can see priority is managed by data lookup set as read only. So this particular UI policy is setting up the priority field to read only. If we can see the when to apply section, it is global and it will apply on on load. And in the UI policy actions validity list, we can see priority field available here and read only is true. So you have to make it inactive and create your own business logic for the priority field if you want to customize the priority field value. So this was the end of the video. Try this thing on your personal developer instance. If you face any difficulties, write it down in the comment section. If you have any suggestions for new videos, write it down in the comment section. Share this video with others. If you like this video, click on like button. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.